All right, hey, I really don't think we're too far away from uh, finishing this thing. I got a picture of a Grandpa Munster there, and he is, it looks like light green. I can't do too much uh, detail here with this little guy. Uh, what I intend to do, I was just thinking about it. Grandpa Munster, he's mostly, everything he's wearing is black. He does have the white vest on, and what is it, a tie or an ascot, a little bit red. Uh, even his hair black, a little white on the sides there. What I'm thinking about doing is taking this guy and just gluing him to the uh, the uh, little dowel I got down there and just spray painting them all black. And then what I'll do after he's all black, I'll go back and put the um, like accents for the vest in and I'll do some light green for his face. And I know Grandpa Munster's using the uh, gloves there, but you see how this guy's got his arms crossed? I might just do, instead of just black, as far as the gloves, I might do uh, green, like, you know, the, like the skin color, like he has, you know, just because the hands are crossed in the front. And I was also thinking about the last time I had um, uh, Grandpa Munster in there, in the uh, uh, Dragula, he was glued to the uh, canopy, and every time you open the canopy, he came out. I'm going to make a seat or something for him to be in there, so when you open the canopy, you'll be able to see him in there proper. All right, that's the uh, beginning of the project. Uh, let's see how it goes. Okay, I glued his legs on the little dowel there. He is drying nicely. I started getting the uh, paints I'm going to need. Now I'm going to need the uh, green, and now I'm going to need the white there because the, 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 that green is a little darker than we need. So to match Grandpa Munster's skin, we're going to have to mix it with the white there. And I had, um, I, I, that's a tiny little paintbrush there. It looks like a, a tiny little Q-tip. But that drill there, that is, you know, I have some smaller, but that's a very, very, very uh, tiny drill. I might even use a toothpick because when we're doing like the lapel or, you know, the, the um, what is it, the ass kind of the tie that he has, we're going to need something fine. So that's why I have that little drill bit over there. And uh, I'll get some red out here because I know we're going to need it. But uh, th that's where we're at so far. As soon as this dries, I'll go ahead and, um, I got my spray paint over there. We'll go ahead and spray it up and we'll see how it looks like. That's where we're at, guys. All right, I hope it's coming, uh, I'm trying to get to come through here. That's Grandpa Munster painted black. He is still wet. I got to find a place to where I can set him and uh, dry him to where he's not going to stick anything. Probably put him in a vise, uh, put the dowel in a vise, something like that. All right, that's what I'm going to do next. Okay, we have a very dry Grandpa Munster. He is completely painted up now. I've got, uh, been checking the paint over there. Got the red and the green, the, the white there. Guys, look at that. That is so tiny. What, what I've done is I've got a, um, I got my magnifier over there. I'm going to set it up on my um, uh, vise here. That vise will swivel and get any position I want. So I'll set that up. I'm going to do the whole thing under the um, under the magnifier because that is that's just tiny. And I'm considering should I do the face color first? You know, the light green. Or should I try to put the uh, vest, the white vest in with the red? I'm not sure. I might, I, I'm kind of leaning towards putting the uh, face on then. If I need to like use any black to do any touch up, I'll do it, I'll, I'll do it that way. But uh, he's dry, we're ready to go. And I'm gonna set up my uh, magnifier here so I can at least try to see what I'm doing. All right, I went with the uh, face. I got the, uh, that, that um, it, it's like mint green, I guess. Look how much I had to do. Not even, not even one drop of the green, and I had to keep thinning it out, thinning it out, thinning it out with the white. Finally, uh, towards that white dowel there, I, uh, I got the color I wanted. And just a little dab, dab, you know, then the hands, you're done. You're absolutely done. So uh, not too hard at all. I got to let it dry before I um, touch it up, so to speak. So that's where, uh, right where we are now. I think I'm going to do the um, white, uh, like around his collar and, the, you know, the vest a little bit. And uh, then just like a touch of red, just a touch of red right in the center, and we're going to call it done. So get in there, but we got to let it dry. All right, it's done, painted up. That's as much as I'm going to do. I got the uh, light green, I got the uh, vest going on there, and a little bit of the red for his ascot or a tie, whatever he's got. Um, I, I was just getting ready to, to unglue him from the uh, stick there that I was using to paint him with. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cut that uh, dowel, I'm going to cut that dowel and make it fit inside there and then he'll it, it'll be a place for him to um, sit so i was going to um, just just a second ago just going to take it off so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to trim it up and see if we can fit inside there to where 
when I open the canopy, you'll be able to see him in there. So uh, let me go ahead and do that next. All right, guys, I'm calling done. I, I don't know if it's coming through as good as it um, it looks uh, in real life, but boy, I, I got it painted up. He's in there where I want. Uh, the canopy opens and closes and everything, and it's ready to put it on the track and have some fun with it. It only took me, um, I was thinking about it, it only took me um, 22 years to get this piece done, <laughs> and I'm going to call it done now. All right, let's see what it looks like going around the track completely done. Once again, only 22 years in the making, guys. <laughs> Finally got it done. Kind of looks good. It's it's just a blast. I, I, I got it just creeping around the track. Uh, my track, as you guys know, is not the biggest track in the world. Um, so I can't open it up like I like. But I'm not about the fastest car in the world. But I am about uh, making the cars run smooth and look good. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you've got any questions. And please uh, subscribe. Tell people like and all that stuff. Guys, have fun. See ya.